Ami Leon Do, Ami Leon Do have just released pictures of their brand new, brand new New Balance 1000 pack by Teddy Santis. So interesting, um, interesting clarification on that. I'm not too sure if that's where, if that's how they're going to be named. But according to my guy over at Over and Under, over and under posted this particular tweet regarding the shoe itself and he says emilion door and new balance 1000 pack by teddy santos i'm not too sure if they're going to be called by teddy santos or if it's just an ald pair but either way the shoe themselves is really fucking cool um i'm a, I'm a big fan of the one to be fair the 1000 is a weird one because when i've seen them in product shots they look really cool but then when i saw somebody wear them like in lifestyle shot on instagram they didn't look that great so I'm not too sure if I'm just seeing things or if they don't look as good as I think they look. I'm not too sure. But either way, um, they kind of remind me. Again, this is a weird way to say this. Don't fucking kill me. But they kind of remind me a little bit, a little bit of a Yeezy Wave Runner, the Yeezy 700, and a little bit of an Air Max 95. They almost have like a, if New Balance made an Air Max 95 without air bubbles, or if New Balance made a, maybe it's a front as well that kind of reminds you of a Wave Runner. Of, you know what I mean? That kind of front bit. The, the tip there but the shoe itself is fucking phenomenal um i like the paneling because i think you can do similar sort of like 95 type paneling with this sort of like wave design here on the side um they just look really cool and uh, they look a bit more sleek less bulky than your traditional new balance that you're used to and to be fair teddy santis ald they're really pros when it comes to colorways in the same way that Kif is, right? In the same way that I forgot his fucking name from Kif. Master at colorways. Master. Like, colorway design is a field in itself that I think gets overlooked these days because everyone wants to make their own kind of like custom pair from the ground up. But I think the ability to put together a really good, nice color, a really nice colorway, especially when you're going this monochromatic toned down vibe because, you know, this, bla this black pair with the contrast and stitching, like if you know anything about me, you know how much of a sucker I am for contrast, contrast and stitching. Maybe it's a in me but i love a good black with white stitching like i fucking love it and this looks so fucking sublime like and he could have easily went a bit too crazy with the midsole and added a bit more whites on these gray bits and stuff to make them pop more but he just left it alone left it alone so you got here you got this nice black upper with the white stitching you've got different reflection of different materials so you've got like what looks like a patent leather here you've got what looks like i don't know if that's like a if that don't know if that's like perforated or maybe something with a mesh different type of material here on the front you've got a mesh here you've got different i think you've got like normal leather eyelets here as well so different types of materials and different i always love that appeal or love that design choice or colorway choice where you have the same color but then you have different materials so the colorway sits differently on the material itself so if you have like an all black shoe or you have like a suede a suede logo um pattern tip and like a new buck heel counter they kind of give it a different type of tonality, even though it's the same colorway. So I really like how that looks in the front. And obviously the laces as well. You've got these nice speckled um, laces here, round ones, which kind of give it a little bit more of an outdoory, rugged feel. But each colorway is really sublime. You can't go wrong with either of them. The black, the all gray and the white. Maybe the all whites are probably the, the, the my favorite. Look at how that looks like if you put it under the, you know, if you, if you, if you shine a light on it and you just let the fucking the black pop out. Look at that. That looks that looks incredible. Um, so the text here, courtesy of Hype, he says, as we wrap up the month of May, Teddy Santos once again offered a preview of his forthcoming Amelion Dor New Balance 1000 project, this time unveiling a third colorway in all grey. With our best look at the current collaboration, each pair sports an Ami branding at the front. Oh yeah, true. You got the Ami brand. I didn't, I didn't even spot that at the beginning. Yeah. But pretty cool at the front. Um, we got the T, the, the, the silhouette, time showcase in black colorway with Ami on the front with the branding. And obviously you've got this colorway too that gives you a new idea on what it looks like in hand. But you've also got this picture courtesy of my guy from Over and Under who posted this pretty cool picture so you can get an, another kind of look at what this actually looks like. Let me get this freaking thing off the screen. Bear with me a second here. There you go. But the actual shoe itself looks fucking hard, isn't it? Even from, even from, the, that, even from below. And even with, because I'm not really a fan of putting your eye your laces through like this sort of like tongue eyelid thing i know it helps to keep the tongue in place but i'm not really a fan of this i'd actually prefer to have it outside but the fact that it still looks good like this is proof that it's a really fucking hard colorway and again that front definitely looks like a 700 that looks exactly like a 700 there at the front that bit there right that tip looks so fucking cool um i love the fact that you got the emmy written here on the logo on the tongue sorry um label there new balance 1000 you got this perforated mesh type of inner sole there maybe that helps with the breathability of it you've got this separate heel counter bit here as well which i also like the look of the nice piping 
around the edges there. I'm assuming this might be 3M around the seams here, this piping. Maybe some 3M here on the eyelets as well. So again, it's got a lot of Air Max 95 vibes about it. A lot of Air Max 95 vibes about it. Like New Balance have a really deep archive of really cool, interesting runner type shoes, man. They should try and be pushing out more often. And obviously look at how they look like in natural light. Oh, they look so good. The all white and all black pair are probably the ones that people should be going for. That They look so fucking good. Or you obviously see this person got a pair of the sample pairs, obviously. You got sample in there. Maybe the actual retail version won't look like these. Maybe they might tone down or might tone up some bits of the white. Um, but overall, these look so good. All white pair. This kind of like I think on a black is patent. I'm not sure if this is patent still. This looks like a clear outer heel thing, which is also represented in the in the logo on the side. This is a really cool effect. This almost clear plastic thing on the outside here. On the bottom this looks really cool because you imagine as you wear it this will obviously die and turn into a yellowy-ish kind of color and it will offset really well with the midsole and just give it a really cool vintage type of look to it so i'm a big fan of that i'm not gonna lie and um, i also like the salt like it just, it just looks cool to be fair it doesn't look as clunky it looks a bit more sleek it looks like an mx95 mixed with the 700 but done in a very new balancey type of way and i'm assuming this will obviously lead to the retros of these coming out later and i think there's really a, a shoe that i think there's already a colorway i saw i think it's like a silver one so clearly they're going to be having more i think i saw a santan dave wearing them um but i really like this shoe honestly i really fucking like this shoe and um what's the date on release so far we have a date for them uh new balance is celebrating okay it's the 25th anniversary of the new balance 1000 this year so they're gonna bring it back there's no idea when they're gonna be released but they're aiming to have a price of 170 dollars at some point but no idea when they will release but they look fucking phenomenal i love everything about them and i can't wait to wear them myself when they do eventually drop when they do eventually drop